G'day everyone, welcome to my destruction test of 16mm polypropylene rope. Now this stuff, similar to polyethylene rope, has similar UV resistance, which is really good. Uh, similar stretch, around about 20% stretch, but it's uh, more than twice the strength of polyethylene rope. So this polypropylene rope is really good for moorings, uh, mooring lines on your boats. Um, it doesn't shock load your cleats and things and similarly it's really really good in the forward driving game in place of a snatch strap uh, when it lets go it doesn't just let go in one hit like a snatch strap and fly back and hit the vehicle and damage vehicles and people it lets go slowly so watching this video you'll see it gradually let go so you see now I've got one ton 1.2 ton 1.3 ton 1.4 see how much it's stretching see how the pink shackle is stretching away 1.6 1.8 ton now 1.9 2 ton 2.2 2 .2, 2 .2, 2.3 ton there we go it starts to let go 2.34 ton. There's just got pretty dodgy quick splices in it. Nothing flash about these splices. It's much better if you taper your splices off. You get uh, even better um, figures on the uh, braking strain. So watch now. We'll just speed this video up, and uh, you can really see the amount of stretch. Here we go. Taking it from from basically 100 kilograms out to two ton you'll see the amount of stretch so let me know if there's anything else you want to see uh, destroyed i'm happy to, to uh, destroy it uh, someone's requested telstra rope so i'll be doing that soon uh, keep an eye on the uh, videos subscribe if you want to see more of this sort of stuff um, and it's pretty handy to see in real world situations what these things are, are capable of and um and not just believe what's on the labels and things hope you enjoyed cheers